All right, so this week at Edison Motors, we're talking about cool trucks. <laughs> no, 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 we had some huge milestones. We're talking about investment today. Let's start with the most exciting update. We got our first two trucks delivered to customers. That undisclosed truck was delivered to Winnipeg for that customer. And then the pickup kit, the Toyota Land Cruiser was delivered to that undisclosed customer down in the States. And we got exciting news from the government too. Yeah, we sure do. After a grueling nine months, Environment Canada has finally given us authorization to apply the national emissions mark. Like yeah. this is a huge thing that we accomplished as a team. So, you know, massive props. It means that we can legally step. sell a truck now to well. customers from Environment Canada. So that's huge. And for further uh, news here for development of the company, as you can see behind me, our roof is going on to the shop. The guys are gonna be back next week to start installing walls. We got about two months till this building's done, two months to rig up. That's why we're releasing this investment video now because with a four or five month lead time on parts, we're hoping to raise the money so that when this truck is done with the ability to sell trucks, we'll be able to have the inventory to feed that production line and get the truck sold to the first customers. So super excited. We now have our national emissions mark. This was a huge achievement and took us multiple months to get for Environment Canada. But now we need to obtain Transport Canada approval through CMBSS. There's roughly about 22 sub-segments to the regulation. So working actively with government to ensure that we get this before entering production. So we're building trucks for the industries that you see behind me, logging, oil and gas, mining, and construction. These are the toughest industries and have the most brutal demands on trucks. I'm a logger, that's my background. These logging trucks, they get beat up, they work long hours, they need to be built tough, or they need to be built specialized. There's things like concrete mixers, crane trucks, winch tractors, where a lot of rigging goes onto the truck. The big American companies, they mainly focus on the highway general freight market. That's not what we're doing. There is a niche that needs to be filled, and this niche of heavy trucks is where hybrid technology makes the most sense. When we started Edison Motors, it was about building the toughest trucks. And our solution to that problem was to build an electric vehicle, a hybrid vehicle that has no range anxiety. So to actually accomplish that, we ended up devising a system that's more like a locomotive, like a train, where the axles have an electric motor right at the wheel. And that's what delivers this incredible amount of torque and power. And over the last few years, we've really accomplished a great platform. We build it out. And this is all about reducing fuel consumption, right? 30% fuel efficiency gain without any compromise on payload. And how we end up doing this is we devise a system that uses a smaller engine. So instead of using this 15 liter engine uh, that typically is on a big heavy duty rig, we ended up going down to a nine liter. We also eliminate the transmission and the drive line, right? We just put batteries in and actually a small battery pack to boot. And what ends up happening is you get all the fuel efficiency gained right at the wheels, but you don't have this compromise on payload. Um, so ideally, the final product will be the same weight as a traditional truck. So let's talk about our technology on this truck, because honestly, I think we have the game-changing technology for it. This is a diesel electric truck. So you got all the benefits of electric. You got all that instant torque, you got the tons of power. You have all of the regen ability to recapture that energy, but you don't have the range anxiety because when your batteries get low, you fire up a diesel engine, it recharges the batteries and you keep on going. I think that personally, this is the future of trucking right here. You would see in freight trains in the 1930s went diesel electric and they haven't gone back to diesel mechanical since the 1930s. Every industry that has gone to diesel electric has stayed at diesel electric. We're bringing that to trucking right now. I'm pretty stoked. We're working, we're showing 30% in reduction in fuel. We're getting the first ones delivered right here. What's really crazy about the hybrid technology is it not only is the future, but it's open to so much customization, right? What we're trying to do at Edison is build any type of platform that's electric hybrid, you know, electric PTOs, electric hydraulics, that opens up this technology to any bodybuilder. And ultimately, that's what we want to do. We want to build badass trucks. We want to build the heaviest duty trucks to serve our markets. And it's just open to so much customization. We're super excited. So the hybrids are the obvious winner. That is going to be the future of trucking. But we are building mechanical drive trucks right now 
for a simple reason is that it is proven technology. The hybrids, they're still gonna take a little while to develop. We're gonna have fault codes, we're gonna have errors. Until the hybrid truck is getting a million kilometers reliably without any problems, I can't go to mass production, but we're building that new shop. We're ready to go to mass production. So we're building what every single truck on the road is. A Cummins X15 with an Eaton 18 speed and mechanical drive line. And we've seen that, this, that there is a huge demand for this right now because I've been telling people, I'm like, sorry, we're only doing a limited amount of hybrids. And people have been saying, well, just build me a mechanical truck. Kenworth has discontinued their C500. Western Star shut down their 6900 XD. These are the trucks that we see in oil and gas, logging, mining. They're the toughest built trucks to do the job. So if the hybrids aren't quite ready for mass production, that X15 Cummins and an 18 speed is, we're gonna fill up that production line. We're gonna start selling trucks. We've already got the first mechanical truck being built behind me. I am excited for this. Objectively, the hybrid is better in every single way but except it doesn't change the feeling of shifting gears, doing that, like as a diehard trucker, I like a mechanical truck for the feeling. It's not as good, but it's the same as every other truck on the road. We can sell them, we can sell them for a profit, we can get that production line going. Things like the body, the cab mounts, the fenders, the electrical, the wiring harness, all of that stuff can be tested on mass. We're not, we don't have to test the drive line. So that's why we're gonna do mechanicals. We're gonna fill up that production line. We're gonna increase the volume of trucks we can sell. We're gonna bring ourselves to profitability with that and then use that to fund the hybrid development. So that's why we're doing a mechanical. And just, I am actually really, really stoked to get that first one on the road and start shifting gears. As part of our right to repair philosophy, it's all about using off the shelf components, right? Obviously we're gonna to have to design our own fenders here and there, but the idea is most of the constitutes of the truck are actually stuff that you can get off the shelf from major wholesalers, which means you, as a customer, can fix your own truck. We really believe in that and want to support that kind of design ethos. And furthermore, what's great about these trucks is because of that ability to work on it, we want you to customize these things. We want you to build the coolest electric truck you possibly can. You can integrate a PTO shaft, hydraulics, you name it, all off of our electric system. And more notably too, you're not going to have any compromise on power or payload. Our trucks will weigh the same as your conventional truck, and we stand by that. This is what's really cool about this tech, right? It's future-proof. If we can master this heavy-duty platform, this is going to be the future. And this is what we're trying to do at Edison, is be that company that will last, right, and build a lasting truck. Because ultimately, these trucks are being used by workers, right? They're being used by drivers and it's their livelihood. And we stand behind our product because we know that's the case. None of this stuff's junk. I just want to give you guys an update on the pickup truck kits. I am happy to say that the LC is about 95% done. We've been testing it for the last little bit, just came back from a dyno session and super thrilled with the numbers that it put down. Basically put, we could not test the full output of the truck because the tires were getting too hot on the dyno. Um, we had, was shredding rubber on the dyno. There was rubber all sprayed behind the dyno. What a good feeling. It all stayed together and it is just about ready to be dropped off at the customer next week, which means that we will be delivering two trucks in two weeks to two different customers. Man, what a good feeling. The Ram is moving ahead just the same as the Land Cruiser. There's nothing different. Uh, we're experimenting as to what's quieter, like uh, uh, the 12 volt fans or whether we need a high voltage fan, high voltage water pump, low voltage water pump. So it's opposite in the ways from the Land Cruiser that way, but we're just getting data. That means we can drive that thing to British Columbia towing the Airstream in the spring. We're on schedule to do that. But we realize that this is a lot of work to get these trucks to this state. So we're exploring into building an incomplete chassis where it would have all the components inside. You would be able to put your cabin box configuration on that. And we're very, very excited to uh, be working with some very smart people who are putting that all together. So I um, wanted to give you guys that update. All of the in-depth updates are on debossgarage.com and on YouTube, so check them out there. But what a feeling to have prototype number two rolling and driving down the street. Here we go. Edison Motors is raising 20 million Canadian, um, of which we need at least 5 million of that to reach our production goals and for a valuation of 200 million US for the company. 
And what that funding is going to be able to achieve is getting to production, building a production facility here, as well as reach commercialization for our hybrids, mechanicals, and pickup chassis. And how we're going to be doing this is deploying capital through building a shop and inventory to stockpile so that we can achieve and reach production of these pre-orders. We've gotten thousands of paid pre-orders for our vehicles. So this is really the fuel of the fire. And with your investment, we can get there. From going from a small backyard shop at a Chase's backyard last year to now having a 305 acre facility, test track built, and a production facility almost there, we're very confident that we'll be able to use this investment to be effective and to get to production. Otherwise, huge milestones that were just achieved, right? We delivered a couple customer vehicles, and now because of Environment Canada approval, we can now focus on Transport Canada approval, which will take another couple months. Now actively being able to work on this is huge, and we've got an amazing support from government to get there. Otherwise, Inventory will be key as part of this investment. This is why we want to be able to raise money now, is that it'll take about four to six months to receive this. And when they do arrive, we can start actually delivering on building trucks. Um, so therefore, um, buildings mechanical trucks first and foremost, mainly because those are going to be an easy one to build, right? There, it's a proven technology, but more importantly, it's just one type of truck, which we can get really good at building and ideally become profitable early. And ultimately, through this progression of building the mechanical truck up to the hybrids, we can go from just this one truck to a more custom platform with any wheelbase for the hybrids. And this allows us to really be all about our mantra, right, of serviceability, low volume production, but high quality, and ideally high margin. And this allows us to be profitable from day one. So if you're interested in investing in Edison Motors, there's a lot of information on our website and through this presentation. So highly recommend that uh, you look at that. But more importantly, I'm always here to answer your questions. So just drop me an email. Uh, we're here to ensure that you're confident in investing in Edison Motors.